Hey guys, it's Wasbred here. Today we're taking a look at all the changes between 36.21 and 36.52. The latest version promises about 10% higher FPS for Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. As well as better VRAM handler and it seems that it's using a lot less GPU usage. The RAM usage is a lot lower but the VRAM usage is a little bit higher. Any performance changes is pretty much welcome and next we're going to look at the loading times. Loading is significantly improved from the beginning to end. This is on 43k shader cache. Both of these videos are significantly sped up in order to end at the exact same time. We're looking at about 50% faster loading on the newest version. Considering that EA3621 was about 100% faster on the previous version, in my opinion this is a very big change. Still nowhere near as fast as simu loading, but it is getting there. So now we're going to take a look at the mods. First thing, Dynamic FPS 1.53 beta is out, which fixes some of the physics issues. On the left you can see the gear is not working properly on FPS++ unless you cap FPS 230. Ambient occlusion has been fixed with the 1080p mod. The game a little bit sharper and a little bit better overall. Now we're going to take a look at all the changes that happened this week. A new setting has been added to sync custom frame rate. This is a very welcome change and it seems soon enough we're going to get a playtime tracker. Yuzu for Android has officially launched. It only supports Snapdragon processors. You're looking around this kind of frame rate for Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S20. We can see Breath of the Wild running around 20 FPS which is pretty acceptable. There is no plans to release for iOS and it's not going to work for Exynos processors. Which are essentially Samsung's European style processor. OpenGL now has a backend info status added. There is Amiibo related stuff added into this update. It should make it easier to scan physical Amiibos on Yuzu. Linux stability has been improved. This should as well help Steam Deck users. Time zone related bugs have been fixed. There has been some improvements to FXAA. It should look a little bit better now. Thank you guys for watching, if you want to see more content about Yuzu, feel free to subscribe and I will see you next time.